Hi, my name is Steven Anderson. I'm the pastor of Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. So I was already banned from five different countries, but this week I was banned from the Netherlands. And in addition to the Netherlands, the Dutch government also got me banned from almost all of Europe. They banned me just in one shot from 26 different countries that make up what's known as the Schengen area. So just in one single day, I was banned from 26 countries. So now I'm up to 31 countries that have banned me. And I'm planning on going to Ireland to preach in a few weeks. And I'm not sure yet whether Ireland's gonna ban me. I think there's a pretty good chance that they will. But thankfully, Ireland is not one of those countries that they banned me from. They're not part of that Schengen area. So it'll be interesting to see whether I make it into Ireland. The reason given for me being banned is that I'm a hate preacher, that I'm preaching hate. That's the thing that comes up over and over again. That's the buzzword. And they say that I'm a, a danger to the LGBT community, which really it's just words that I'm preaching. It's just ideas. And these are not new ideas. These are not things that I've come up with. They're just biblical truths that people have been preaching literally for thousands of years. But our society has gotten so weird and these countries have gotten so godless that just normal Bible preaching to them sounds extreme or crazy. I don't consider myself an extremist whatsoever. I am just a normal guy getting up and preaching the Bible. And it's sad that I'm one of the only preachers that is preaching this stuff. So then when people hear it, they're shocked by it. And then I end up literally getting banned from an entire continent. And I believe that the reason why I'm being banned and censored is that the truth is powerful. And wicked people are afraid of the truth because it just takes one beam of light to cut through the darkness that has been created in these areas. The truth is so powerful, it can just in one fell swoop overturn decades of brainwashing. Someone could be brainwashed, like think about Moses, brought up in all the learning of the Egyptians, but boom, God's word could cut through that and by faith, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. And when the word of God is preached, that's the kind of transformation that can happen. And so the wicked want God's word to be silenced. They've always been about burning Bibles, making Christianity illegal, making soul winning illegal, and just trying to stop the truth from being heard. Because if the truth is heard, it will bear fruit. God's word is not gonna return void. And so it's going to have an effect. But because of the internet, they can't really effectively silence me because even though I'm banned from these countries physically, my preaching is still permeating through YouTube and other social media. But of course, they're trying to censor us on social media as well. But at this point, we're still making huge waves with social media and we're able to get tens of thousands of views uh, literally over a million views every month.